If you think there's nothing to do in Newcastle and Lawrence County, then think again. Always stay connected to NCTV45 to receive the information on events going on in and around the area on a daily basis. Programs to view are Newswatch, The Morning Show, and Community Happenings. NCTV45 takes pride in bringing you the event and organization info that you want. NCTV45 is the number one media source locally. NCTV45, anytime on your time. Entrusting your loved one to a funeral director is a very personal and emotional decision. The funeral director you choose must understand the importance of the decision you have made. When you call the William and Roger DiCarbo Funeral Home, I recognize what a privilege it is to be chosen at your time of need. We will provide you and your family with the best service possible, with sincerity and compassion. The William and Roger DiCarbo Funeral Home, family owned and operated since 1941. NC TV 45 Newcastle The Train Welcome to News Watch always a pleasure to see you State Representative Aaron Bernstein is selected to participate in the Presidential Leadership Scholarship Program the Presidential Leadership Scholars Program today announced that State Representative Aaron Bernstein from the 10th Legislative District has been chosen as one of 60 scholars nationwide for the program's fifth annual class. Uh, PLS serves as a catalyst for a diverse network of leaders brought together collaborating and making a difference in the world as they learn about leadership through the lens of presidential experiences of the George W. Bush, Bill Clinton, George H. W. Bush, and Lyndon Johnson. The fifth class was selected after a rigorous application process. Scholars were chosen based on their leadership growth and potential and their personal leadership projects aimed at improving civic engagement and social good by addressing problems or needs in their community for the country or the world. would like to congratulate State Representative Aaron Bernstein on that achievement. And now here are some great sponsors who keep community television on the air for you. At our law firm, we see you. Come see us at lgkg.com NC TV 45 Newcastle The Train Today's program was provided through funding from Coney Island Coney Island Downtown in downtown Newcastle, a Newcastle tradition. Welcome once again to Newswatch, and always a pleasure to see see ya. Governor Wolf announces new PA Smart apprentice grants to boost Northwest Pennsylvania industries. Governor Tom Wolf announced 467,000 PA Smart grants for Northwest Pennsylvania Day as part of his PA Smart initiative, the grants will support Northwest Pennsylvania's regions in plastic, advanced manufacturing, building construction industries with on-the-job training opportunities, private and public sector partnerships to help Pennsylvanians in the region gain skills they need to succeed in the 21st century. Our world is constantly changing with new businesses, new industries, and new technology. To keep up, we need a workforce that is developed a system that is uh, able to be flexible to prepare people for those emerging fields and careers. So he goes on to say, and then the greater 
Erie Action Committee, Tom P. Miller Associates, all these received grants, Next Generation Builders and Construction, and uh, so um, some grants for Northwest Pennsylvania. Now we're going to take this break on Newswatch. We'll return right after these messages. NC TV 45 Newcastle, the train. Parkstown Restaurant has been serving the greater Newcastle area with quality and experience in family dining and great entertainment. The Parkstown Restaurant located at 2800 West State Street, Newcastle. Eat in or take out. All These fine businesses provided funding for this program. Gatherings, Town and Country, and On Target. Newswatch rolls on, unifying our communities in response to a hate conference. This hosted by Attorney General Josh Shapiro, the Anti-Deflammation League, Islamic Center for Pittsburgh, and the Jewish Center for Greater Pittsburgh, Jewish Foundation of Greater Pittsburgh Community, and Relations Council, and the Urban League of Greater Pittsburgh, will hold February 13th, from 6 to 9 p.m. at the August Williams Center, 980 Liberty Avenue in Pittsburgh. This conference featuring Rabbi Jeff Myers, part of our Tree of Life Synagogue, Reverend Eric S.C. Manning, pastor of Mother Emmanuel African Methodist Episcopal Church, and uh, Attorney General Josh Shapiro, uh, they are going to have this conference. Once again, it is February the 13th from 6 to 9, and that's at the August Williams Center. So uh, if you plan on going, you should probably let them know. Now, we're going to take this break on Newswatch, and we'll return right after this. program was provided through funding from Cedars Restaurant in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. A special thanks to Cedars featuring Middle Eastern, Italian, and American cuisine. Welcome to the Cedar Sports Corner Report, and let's get to, yes, college basketball. Your Saturday, your Pittsburgh Panthers taking on North Carolina State, and the Wolfpack really hot right now. Elsewhere in the ACC, Miami's in North Carolina, Virginia at Clemson, Louisville's at Florida State, and Duke, why they're visiting Virginia. Now, uh, over in the A-10, uh, and uh, the Dukes having a difficult time with St. Bonaventure, that always being a rivalry, they're going to travel to Fordham to take on the Fordham Rams. Also in the A-10, you've got Davidson at UMass, Virginia Commonwealth at St. Bonaventure, 
Dayton at Rhode Island and George Washington, they're taking on Richmond. Now, uh, at Big Ten action. Your uh, matchup this uh, Saturday, we'll see Wisconsin taking on Michigan. Minnesota at Michigan State, Rutgers at Illinois, and Nebraska at Purdue. The reason I gave you Saturday's games, partly because a lot of those schools won't play on a Friday night because of the high school schedules. Now, over in the NBA, your Friday looks like this. The Bulls at the Nets, Knicks at the Pistons. Nuggets at the 76ers, Cavs there at the Wizards, Bucks at the Mavericks, Wizards at the Suns, Timberwolves at the Pelicans, and the Heat, they're taking on the Kings. In the NHL, as I catch my breath, only one game, Hurricanes at the Rangers. Head over to Cedars, get some great food, and enjoy the games. And uh, remember the Newcastle Red Hurricane, they're in action on Saturday. Everything geared to Saturday. They're taking on Ambridge, and uh, this is the last of two games. It's down at Ambridge. We're going to try and have the game on for you. We'll be right back after we hear from these great sports. NC TV 45 Newcastle the train Today's program furnished by funding from Bill's Bake Shop where smiles are everywhere This program furnished by a grant from Ferone Brothers Two locations, Newcastle on Mill Street and Wilmington Road in Newcastle. This program, furnished by a grant from Keystone Specialty, Newcastle's party store on Mill Street in Newcastle. Governor Wolf and the Pittsburgh Penguins, yes, they... Uh, didn't do any icing. They just announced a PA Smart Grant to expand science and technology education. Yes, the Pittsburgh Penguins announced the PA Smart Grant to expand science and technology education. This is the day after unveiling a plan to create the strongest workforce in the nation, as said by Governor Tom Wolf, and he was joined by the Pittsburgh Penguins President Dave Morehouse to announce a 442,000 PA Smart Grant, advancing the grant um, awarded to the Pittsburgh Penguin Foundation. The state grant will expand foundations in STEM, science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics, lending liberty to benefit thousands of students across the Commonwealth. Over the next decade, Seven in ten new jobs in Pennsylvania require workers to use computers, 
and new technologies in a constant changing economy, said Governor Tom Wolf. He says, I launched PA special PA Smart Grants last year to help students and adults get the skills they need for these emerging in industries. So hats off to the Pens for joining in this program. Now we're going to take this break and hear from these great sponsors who keep community television on the air for you. NC TV 45 Newcastle The Train This program was provided through funding from Cedars Restaurant in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. A special thanks to Cedars featuring Middle Eastern, Italian, and American cuisine. A special thanks to the YMCA for caring about the Lawrence County community and providing funding for this program. A special thank you to Tuscany Square Restaurant, Wilmington and Mitchell Roads for providing funding for this program. Welcome, as always, on Newswatch, and it's the Lincoln Day Breakfast, hosted by the Republican Committee. Here in Lawrence County, you can call or text for tickets 724-674-0840, and it's a petition signing event. All GOP candidates should plan to attend, 7.30 to 10 at the Crane Room, and uh, to get involved, contact Gal Measle at 724 652-1372. Now, this event will take place uh, the 23rd of February, that's Saturday, from 7.30 a.m. until 10 a.m. So stop up and uh, help get those petitions signed and get out the vote. And once again, this is hosted by the Lawrence County Republican Committee. It's the Lincoln Day Breakfast. And NCTV 45 has been there over the past years, and we will be there just the same. Now, we're going to take this break, and we'll return. Tuscany Square Restaurant, 3470 Wilmington Road, where old world charm meets the modern conveniences of today. Spacious seating and amenities await. Fresh ingredients that make that just right pizza or entree. It's Tuscany Square for your next event. Stop and see us or give us a call at 724-654-0365. Well, welcome to Lawrence County 45 weather, and can you say rain? I'm sure after last night you could with last night's overnight low of 28. And the rain and precipitation all scattered about. So, uh, how is your Friday looking? Well, we got to look at local radar. Off to the southwest, you see more rain. And when you look at the national scene, off to the west, more rain. So um, the rain should be coming to an end by about 10 o'clock. Things will start to dry out. Temperatures will be falling though. So uh, what, what do you have? Partly sunny, falling temperatures uh, and it'll fall to about 24 by about 5 o'clock and there'll be a breezy west wind. Now, Friday night, partly cloudy, a low of 13. Saturday, mostly sunny and 23. And we've been telling you about Dow's for the house. Um, they're predicting it's going to be a little chillier. Yes, Saturday night, mostly clear and 16. Sunday, partly sunny and 36. Sunday night, cloudy, 25, 50% chance of precip after four now monday mostly cloudy and 37 monday night 
mostly cloudy, 28. Chance of precip goes up to 30%. And then rain is in your future on Tuesday. Yes, with a cloudy high of 41. Now, Tuesday night, mostly cloudy and 27. 50% chance of rain and snow showers. And then Wednesday, rain and snow showers. 30% chance, but partly sunny overall and 38. Now, that was Lawrence County 45 weather. We're going to take this break. We'll be right back. Standing by my window. Today's programming is brought to you by NCTV 45 and NC Radio 450, Newcastle's community television station. NC TV 45 Newcastle The Train This program furnished by the Mad Unit Mobile Auto Detailing C Michael Sad at the madunit.com This program furnished by Sporting Goods 23 East Washington Street, Newcastle. Call 724-658-2535. Funding for this program furnished by Mary's Turner's Day Spa. Wilmington Road, Neshanic Township, Newcastle. You know, every year about this time, it's douse for the house. Well, this Saturday is no different. Get up, get going. Saturday, 11 a.m., douse for the house. It's supposed to be um, partly cloudy, probably around 27, um, as they predicted this uh, a few days ago. It's at Moraine State Park. Uh, 225 Pleasant Valley Road, Portersville. And um, go out, splash around for a great cause. Contact Lawrence County Habitat for Humanity for more information. And uh, even if you just go out and watch, <laughs> it's going to be a little chilly. Now, we're going to take this break and we'll return on News Watch after we hear from these great sponsors. Who would like to hear from you?
NCTV 45, The Train, anytime on your time. Welcome back, and uh, we hope you've enjoyed uh, NCTV 45's News Watch nightly. We attempt to bring you news and views and stuff that is going on that probably affects you that you might miss from one day to the next. And as you're sitting around tonight, make sure you tell a friend about NCTV 45. They'll be glad you did. And by all means, get a second cup of coffee and maybe another piece of pie. And have a pleasant evening in what I call the greatest castle in the world, in the county of Lawrence. Have a great evening, everybody, and we'll see you again tomorrow. Got my ticket for the midnight plane And it's not easy